All right, Anthro Nerd is back again, and today we're going to be blind reacting to another thing that was recommended to me by Joe Crazy after I already had already released my what's it called Failure of the Rainforest uh, blind reaction, which I got a lot more views on than I actually expected. <laughs> I got almost 200 views on it, which um, is a lot more than I expected. I <laughs> I was at like. You know, I'm gonna upload this, it's gonna get like, I don't know, 20, maybe 30 views. And I was like, really surprised, actually. Surprised, and that was that video um, that I blind reacted to was made, um, I think five, four years ago? Five to four years ago? No, uh, it was made in like 2016 when the event happened, or was it a year after? I don't actually know. So, <laughs> yeah, and then he said, you know what, Anthro Nerd, you should do Dashcon. See how bad they totally screwed that up. And then another dude was like, you should watch more Net Historian. And I was like, oh, right. And so here I am watching more Internet Historian. I don't know what I'm going to do after this. Maybe I'll continue some Internet Historian, make my own little, make another playlist on my channel. Just call it Internet Historian Blind Reactions. If I, if I get enough requests to do um, more. But I don't really know what to do after this, so if you guys have any requests of Internet Historian after I am finished this blind reaction, feel free to post that in the comments, and I'll check it out. So this is the failure of Dashcon, and I do not know what Dashcon is. The only reason I really had any... I also didn't have any knowledge of Rainforest, but I did... But I am a furry, so I know about furries, and I know what they can get up to, but I don't know what Dashcon is. Or really, I don't know, is it a Comic Con? Is it a My Little Pony Con? Is, is it a Brony Con? Is it a, uh, another furry event? I, I actually don't know. It's called Dash Con, which doesn't really tie anything together. Well, when I think of Dash Con, I think of Rainbow Dash, and I don't know if that's 100% correct. Uh, so I'm just gonna get right into the episode and listen to some more Internet Historian. I think it's pretty funny, actually, how these realistic events or stories or true events, or whatever they're called, work out. <laughs> so, gonna start it off in three, two, one, play. In March of 2013, a group of Tumblr users come up with a brilliant idea. So that was two years, Dashcon. two to three years before a uh, specifically for Rainforest and by Tumblr users. This. Okay, that's kind of weird. Story. I Dashcon. A, a con that's for Tumblr users? In Chicago. Only $65 for the weekend. What even is Epic a Tumblr user? Lineup. Welcome to Night Vale Reading. LGBTQQIP2SAA+. Massive board. What? <laughs> Steam-powered giraffe live show. <laughs> what? The Baker Street Babes. And friendly memes. <laughs> you bet. Huh? Expect 5,000 people. We'll see you there. Whoosh. Here comes is Friday 5, and a big thousand a lot or a little for a convention? I really don't know. But nothing is scheduled until 1 p.m. So people just wait around for the next four hours. So at what nice. Point did you decide that this is what you wanted to do with your life? The thug life chose you. Of course it did. Powered giraffe canceled months ago. Sorry. If you bought special tickets, no refunds though. Lol. What? Check out the games room. <laughs> one TV, one console. Perfect for up to 7,000 people. Here's that ball pit you wow. were looking forward to. Free Palestine! Death to Israel! Death to Israel! Free Palestine! What? <laughs> Overall, it's a pretty fucking slow day. Okay, so you dressed up this as is really uh, fucking the sad. Batman movie shooter. Uh, what made you choose this costume? Um, what made you decide to dress up as the Prime Minister of Israel to this convention? I say dress for the job you want. Then by 9pm, disaster strikes. The bill for the it's venue hasn't even been paid. The hotel wants it immediately or the doors will be shut and the convention is over. Wow. You guys are so... Really? <laughs> all in all, this is just fucking stupid. <laughs> You guys are not, you guys were not ready to run this convention. You guys are just really, really dumb. I'm just gonna say. What the, Hunger Games? What does this have to do with anything? Is it even relevant? 
But they raise the money, and the con continues. Saturday. Artists How'd they raise $14,000? $17,000? Was that what it was? Aren't selling anything because their customers just donated all of their cash. Tumblr's turned yeah. on the convention completely. The destruction of this convention is dedicated to all of the women whose bank account have been ruined <laughs> and fooled by it. I'm money. I'm tired of you making me Donate <laughs> to PayPal. <laughs> All right, this is actually pretty funny. That was funny as hell. <laughs> Mark does stuff. A gay Hispanic panelist I am Mark. is sent death threats because they think he's a straight white male who's misappropriating the gay for profit. Pacific Rim is illegally played to an audience of 100. Tumblr sends tweets to Del Toro to get them in trouble. The Dr. Horrible sing-along blog sing-along is cancelled due to copyright concerns. Then, the main event. As long as we get to see a live reading from Welcome to Night Vale, it'll all be okay. Who is Welcome to Night Vale? I never heard of them before. <laughs> never once heard of those guys. <laughs> Of course they did. Why? Why? Why the hell would they not? Is there even a reason to try? While Give me back my money. In that room, <laughs> waiting for the show to As start, if. they changed the rules on the website so that there are no refunds. You can give me a bad worry, review, but no one fucking line. cares. <laughs> Everyone who paid extra to see Welcome to Night Vale is entitled to a free extra hour in the ball pit. This is what yes. dollars went to. <laughs> And you guys are just really sport. dumb. I'm kind of surprised that they didn't just riot and start breaking everything. And <laughs> just start smashing everything in sight. That'd be pretty nice. I mean, By the early obviously not for the convention hall panel. owner, but... Some shitty panels happen. The LGBTQ and A. They're giving out free hotel mints. That's uh. The teenage unpaid helpers who are promised free meals aren't given anything and go hungry. There's a full-on organizer meltdown, and Tumblr finds out that the main artwork used for the convention is in fact stolen copyright material. Of course it is. Why, evening, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> the unthinkable happens. What? The ball pit starts to deflate. And oh no! What are we Sunday. gonna do? <laughs> the ball pit is taken away. Also, Tumblr finds out that Steal Random him? Acts, a charity that Dashcon claims to be partnered with, isn't in fact partnered at all. Which means, by the way, they've just been pocketing the money. The organizers host an official apology panel. This is awful. <laughs> just. Here's a quick summary of that. Oh my god. Please stop saying like. You can only say that so many times a day. And everything is closed by 1 p.m. Without annoying the shit out of someone. <laughs> Since Dashcon, there have been many rumors stretched. online that the whole thing was an out-and-out -out scam. So Basically, I did some detective yeah. work to see whether it was true. I think what I found proves that even if the staff didn't set out to scam people, they did <laughs> opportunistically steal and lie. Prepare for some high-quality autism. They're Dashcon so dumb that they didn't realize they scammed people. <laughs> They paid $20,000 before the thing began, so they had a balance of 20000 still remaining. They told the hotel that five to 7,000 people would be attending, and could they please pay as the door sales came in. As a financially risky move, the Marriott agreed verbally, but not in writing. On the first day, the hotel sees at most 1,000 people. They know that Dashcon's door sales are fucked, so they enforce immediate payment as per their written contract. Dashcon does not have the funds. And here's where it gets interesting. So it's like a huge-ass pyramid scheme, kind of. Only the man on top made money. <laughs> so at 9 p.m., Dashcon staff gather everyone into one room to beg for the Took it all and ran. <laughs> Let's do a head count. 33, 129, 120. Maybe another 33 here. You counted all those guys? <laughs> and we'll add 10% to be generous. It's unlikely that there are more than 350 people in this room. Now we know they reached their goal. Almost got shut down. Really? We need to raise seventeen thousand dollars. Really? Yes. That's pretty cool. Did you do it? 
We did it in under an hour. Really? Yeah. They received donations. Yeah, that should not be possible, cash, especially on something that's not like charity. Cash. Let's be generous that's, that just goes to show. Most. You can see people donating. <laughs> Religion is probably much less. So even if each cash donor is I don't know. Bucks, <laughs> I, I, I generous, drew a blank. That's Sorry. only seven hundred dollars total. Therefore, the other sixteen thousand or so is in electronic payments. Now let's look at this leaked list of transactions. Hold on. They made most of their payment in cash, almost twelve thousand dollars. But they only could have got seven hundred from the donors, and they only had three thousand in cash. So where did the rest of it come from? It's door guy... sales revenue, not donations. Meaning they lied about only having three thousand dollars in the first place. They Fraud! actually had at least ten. 000. I was about to be like, now, someone just walked in with eight grand in their pocket. <laughs> Let's take that from the total. That'd be o. funny as hell. And what we get is the following: in a best case scenario. Of the donated $17,000, at most, they spent less than $7,000 keeping the place open, they spent over $2,000 on themselves and their own accommodation, and the remaining $9,000 or so, they pocketed. Also, they're liars. John, because I was on stage mm. for an hour in front of 5,000 people in a Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. Is people here? Right. That seems real dangerous. <laughs> that 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 riot there. I mean, you basically got all the hippies to go in there and sing "Kumbaya" for five hours. There's one last thing I want to touch on. As part of the merchandising, an official Dashcon DVD is listed, and it's possible Why? that a copy exists out there somewhere. And I need to Why? Pay. So I want to put a hundred dollar <laughs> bounty out for anyone who might have a copy. It doesn't need to be the physical DVD. Just a copy of the file itself. The hunt is on. Prove that you have something that... Like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Such a... <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to start right now. This was an absolute failure. Thinking you can hold a first time ever con convention with Tumblr people. I don't even know what that is. What is a Tumblr fan? I'm, I might be either too young or maybe I was like eight when Tumblr was a big thing. And then I didn't know what, what it would, what it was. Uh, because I, I don't even, I don't even know really about TikTok, but I know that it's a thing and I know what people do on it. Tumblr, uh, similar? Mo that's, what, that's what I'm gonna believe. Similar. But, for... Uh, a slightly older generation. Probably not. Well, nah. Probably is my generation. <laughs> so, what can I say about this? Okay, all in all, this was... Dashcon was... Like, like I'd say 80 times worse than Failure of the Rainforest. And you should have seen the stuff that they did in the Failure of the Rainforest. Um, I'm gonna leave a link at the end of the video that'll take you to uh, that blind reaction if you wanna check that out. But compared to that, this was just, well, I mean, if you have to think about it, because when Failure of the Rainforest, there was a lot more damages done to the convention than anything else. But in this, it was just a lot of lying and very sleazy gaming. It was, it was basically a huge scam. It was a huge scam. It was a huge scam, but the, the people who made it were practically stupid enough to not realize it was a scam. <laughs> or it just turned into a scam because of bad planning and bad management all, to, all together. Like, you can't <laughs> compared to how many times I say like and compared to how many times they did there, There's a huge difference. You can only say like so many times Before you annoy the shit out of anybody you're talking to or anybody Or a group of people Only so many times like writing an essay you don't put like in an essay and I realized I probably said it about maybe 16 times throughout this video, but I didn't say it back to back and they probably didn't either but I'm just saying if they did, then there's clearly a difference.
I'm not comparing myself to them because they are a hundred times worse than I am. And I'm just one guy, and that's a group of people. A huge group of people. Around 350. Not as many as they had proclaimed that they had. Uh, <laughs> mixed in a lot of fraud. I'm surprised the authorities weren't called and there wasn't actually a huge riot. Maybe it was just a hall full of hippie pacifists or something like that. Either way, this was a failure. <laughs> it, it makes a... Uh, I, I will say the failure of the rainforest is not wasn't as bad as this. Well, when you listen to it, it doesn't sound as bad, but they are they were both bad. They were both bad in general. But this was slightly worse, not on the impact of the people just destroying the building, but more on the impact of people getting robbed of 17 grand. <laughs> I mean, you gotta you gotta understand. People, humans are just and a very weird, a very odd and weird species. We do things that are very stupid and we try and fix our problems, but in the end we ultimately fail, especially when your first timer is doing such a huge convention. It wasn't even that big, but they m made it out to be huge and over overbearing on everybody. So, I mean, what are you gonna do? This video is already too long. <sighs> gonna have to stop it. So, as always, I'm Anthropomorphic Nerd. Hope I covered all the key points. Put down in the comments if I forgot anything. And I will see you in the next video. So, bye.